she's still there. Right then folks, good morning and welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel if you've been before. Uh, for those of you that are new, I'm Lou and this is our self-converted camper van called Fanny. And for those of you that have been around for quite some time will know that I get serious anxiety. And if you don't know what anxiety is, basically I have a terrible fear of leaving the van unattended for any period of time, anywhere, ever. Uh, so the first thing I do most mornings is I get up and I immediately check, before I've even had a cup of tea, that the van is still parked next to the house. In fact, sometimes I actually sleep in the van, in fact the majority of the time I actually sleep in the van to avoid it getting stolen because you know I'll just ninja on their ass if they try and take it from me. But today is very, very exciting. We're actually upgrading the security system inside of the van and it's exciting for two reasons. Because Emily, <coughs> this is Emily, is making cinnamon buns. Oh yeah, but I don't think I should partake in them because I put on a pair of jeans this morning and they're really tight. <laughs> so completely irrelevant information, part one from Emily. But yeah, you excited to get some new security in the van? Yes, I am, yeah. Yeah? Do you know yeah. what we're getting? No. No? Okay, so as the day goes on, we'll explain to you and to Emily what we're doing to the van to make it that bit safer when we're out and about on our travels. Yeah? Cinnamon buns? Cinnamon buns! <laughs> So whilst Emily is indoors preparing the cinnamon buns, uh, don't panic, they aren't just for me, they are for, we've got a couple of guys coming today to fit the security system for us. Now about two weeks ago I took a trip up to Birmingham specifically just to have a look at the security system because many of you know I don't like to put crap in the van or cheat out or everything in here, although it looks shabby chic, all of our all of our systems, our electrical system, our diesel here, everything is decent, decent quality stuff because at the end of the day we travel and work in this full time so it has to be top notch. Now over the last couple of years we've had so many questions and requests for a video on our entire security system. Now I've been very reluctant to do this because it does mean that I'd have to put out on the internet all the different things I've got, thereby giving the thieves, you know, an advantage uh, if they want to nick this van, they know what they've got to get past. Uh, so I'm not going to do that, but we do already have uh, preventative measures for people getting in, and we have some measures for after the effect, so, you know, after it's been stolen. But what we don't really have is something that actually stops them from driving it away. So many of you have seen the deadlocks we've got on the doors. We've got them on all four doors, and that is basically just a deterrent to stop thieves easily coming in. Now, I know in the comments I'm going to get all the usual, if they want to take it, they will, if they want to do this, they will, and yes, thieves are very, very good. But I, from my point of view, the more you do to prevent it, the less likely it is to happen. So when I got the deadlocks fitted, everyone said, well, why are you getting deadlocks? They'll just smash the window. Now this is very true, but when you go out of your house, everybody locks their front door and yet you have windows. So it's a preventative measure. A thief is much more likely to target a van where he's not going to be noticed. If, he, if he's got to start smashing windows and climbing through windows, you know, it's going to put them off. And this is something very similar. Um, and I will show you in full detail what it is as soon as the guys get here. A few moments later. Okay, so we're joined by uh, Jaro, who's gonna give us a quick run through of exactly what we're having fitted. So the device is called? Bear lock. Bear lock. Um, and basically it's a mechanical device. Yes, it's a mechanical device that is permanently fitted in your vehicle and it's locking the gear shifting mechanism in a reverse position in manual vehicles and in out in parking position with automatic vehicles uh -huh. automatic transmission okay so basically when we're parked i stick it in reverse and then we, we lock it up yes yep and then it's stuck in reverse so if someone's trying to steal it they can only drive it backwards yes they can only drive it backwards so that would be difficult to drive around town uh -huh. especially in a van of, <laughs> especially in a van of this size and if you park smartly, like reversing to the obstacle or another car or a, or a signpost, anything, then obviously they can't really go anywhere. Uh huh. Okay. So does that make sense? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Any technically advanced questions from you? <laughs> oh really? <laughs> no. No. Not and this time. Are you are like? Is there a worry that the mechanism could foul or anything could go wrong, or is it just kind of simple? Are Not you going to mess up my van, basically? <laughs> a, a little bit, yes. We will see a lot of mess in the next two hours. But oh, uh, don't worry, everything will be put back together as it should be. And when it comes to fails, as for the device, we've been doing it second year in a row now. Uh -huh. And we didn't have a single call now that anything went wrong. Okay, perfect. And the company as a bear lock is in Europe for 30 years. Uh -huh. So it's not, this, this product has not been designed yesterday. It's been on the, on the market for many, many years. And it's been developed and upgraded for many years as well. So 
it's a it's a heavy duty mechanical system that it's it's not going to go wrong okay perfect because when i did my initial research i did have a little cheeky look online first and i did notice it's very very popular in holland uh, yeah Germany. Germany, Poland. Uh, well, basically the whole Europe and United States uh -huh. in Holland is get to the point that to insure the van, you have to have Berlock installed as a compulsory. Uh -huh. So yes, it's very well known brand in Europe and uh, in America. Okay, and why do you think it's not as popular yet here in the UK? Is there a particular reason? Because we're behind. behind. Uh, no. Morning. Morning. No, it's <laughs> it, the main reason why Berlock is not known in UK is, is purely technical because these systems are built for European side of the road, which okay. is left-hand side uh -huh. driving. And the shapes and forms of the mechanism are different. Yep. So we took the challenge with Bellock that we are adjusting them to the UK market. Right, okay. Because we're driving on the other side mm -hmm. of the road, everything is slightly different, uh -huh. slightly to the point that many locks will fit perfectly, some of them need small adjustments and some of them just won't fit and we have to build them from scratch because every make and every model have dedicated lock to it. Uh -huh. None of the locks will fit all of the vans or all of the cars. Right, okay. Every car and every van have a specific lock that is dedicated to that vehicle. Okay, right, makes sense? Yep, love it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Shall we get it installed? And I say we, um, two lovely chaps, I think are going to do that for us. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I will try to stay away so I don't disturb them because I will only slow them down. Uh, so we've got our installation crew, so we've got Martin, who's busy away ripping my dashboard out at the minute. Uh, and Andre. <laughs> and Andre. And what I'm a bit confused about is we've got two young, good-looking chaps, and the only one I can get on camera is a tattoo guy. <laughs> <laughs> So we get a lot of comments from men on this channel about the amount of bum shots I get in of Emily and some of the women complain. So here you go, ladies, this one's for you. And I don't know much about it, but I would say that's a cracker. You're not gonna get that from me now. <laughs> Oh, here she is, put in appearance. Come to help, have you? Yeah. You want to see the mess they've made in your van? <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's a shocking mess inside yes, that van. Yes, and Emily, I wanted to tell you because Andrew really loves his tools and it was raining. We had to throw them inside and some of them are on your bed. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be polite. Go on, have a look at what they've done. Oh, that's going to be like when we broke down all over again. Hello. What do you call this? <laughs> Pool station. Yeah, really. Look, no, no F's given either. <laughs> so I'm getting quite impressed by the amount of uh, gymnastics these guys are having to do. And what are you impressed by, Em? How clean they are. They wrap up the steering wheel, the gear stick, all the chairs, everything. Yeah? Yeah. Is it, is it past the uh, Emily approval test? Yeah, way better than when you do work. <laughs> Uh, so the install is done so it's probably taken them i don't know about two to three hours something around that i don't know i went off and watched the olympics for a bit so i'm <laughs> not gonna lie um but jaro and myself have managed to get the real talent on screen so emily and andre are going to take you through how it works okay so emily you've not really seen this yet have you no i have a key though you've got a key you've got the key yeah uh, so right. down here is literally that little lock thing that's all you see of it the rest of the vehicle is now all back together and looks exactly as it did before they started so yeah if you want to run emily through andre and how it works yeah so job done now it's take us two and a half hours so everything is hidden under the under the console like uh, lou said you only see this small bit here 
Uh, so Emily, if you would like to apply the reverse first, exactly, then put the key in, uh, in the barrel slot, slightly press and turn clockwise. Slightly press, <laughs> yes. Slightly press. Slightly press. I'm trying to slightly press. Oh, yeah. there you go. And then take a key out. Oops. And now try to change the gear for one, two. That's it. Yeah, tune lock. Put the key again. Slightly press, yeah? Uh, no, <laughs> this time without press, just anti clockwise. Press anti clockwise. Yeah. Take a key out. That's it. Ready to go. Ah, simple. That's what you simple. need to do. You can apply that really in seconds. So it's take one, two seconds to apply, one, two seconds to just uh, uh, put it back to normal and make a vehicle drivable. So the point of this system is with the manual, it's applied to reverse. On the automatic, it's working slightly different because there is a parking, so mm -hmm. you can drive even reverse uh, backward or forward. <clears throat> so this one is reverse because it's make extremely difficult to drive van or either normal passenger car. Uh, reversing all the way through the city. It's gonna it's look weird. Yeah. yeah, a little bit weird. Can you imagine you're just uh, on, on the traffic yeah. lights and the police just coming? Just what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just reversing because the bedlock fitted in, in this car and I can't steal it. You've installed this now. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you how. <laughs> That's not happening. Because um, you don't know? Yeah. <laughs> no, for, for security reasons. I'm not gonna give away any trade secrets. Um, but yeah, so it's all hidden away. We've just got that. Um, and we've got these keys and stuff, and you everything behind it is okay, yes? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> obviously, yes, yes. So if something was to happen or anything like that with this or anything, is there any warranty? Yes, obviously. It's a system come with the three years warranty, uh, so if anything happened, feel free to contact us and we give you support. Thank Only you. one issue where you can, we can have it, if you go away and you lose your key, then it will be an issue. <laughs> but it's issue good because your, your van car is undrivable yeah. and basically if you can't drive them, thief that can drive as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but so basically we can't lose this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Lovely. Simple? Uh, nice and simple? Yeah, I think it's quite cool. I like the little spot light just sort of lock, doesn't it? Yeah, and my one of my biggest pluses for me, uh, so one of, th one of the things I appreciate the most is we don't have to carry around or house any kind of big bulky yeah. alternative locking system. So if you are in a van, you'll know that space and storage is incredibly tight. So the fact that you don't have to find a home for something else when you're not using it is for me one of the biggest pluses. And wait. Oh yeah, and weight. Because they're always really, really heavy, so like steering lock and... What are these? Foot pedals? Foot pedals? Oh, yes. <laughs> pedal, locks. Ped pedal locks, yeah. How pedal I got locks. my driving licence, I don't know. <laughs> we all wonder. <laughs> yeah. oh, I will just mention about the, 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 the different systems. Uh, it's Most of the time when I see the people have a, something, like you said, you have to carry on something. We see them on a, on a parking on Asda or Tesco. The, the most of the time, the system which you have to secure your vehicle is sitting on the passenger side or on the floor. So yeah. it's not applicable every time. And that's the problem with people still thinking like, oh, in a day, my mm -hmm. car is safe, my van is safe, and they apply just for the night, yeah? Yeah. Or even sometimes they don't apply it because, oh, it's too late, I don't want to go out. Yeah. So advantage of this system is that you can apply every time. And that's what I'm doing personally because my car is, is manual. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm playing every time. Yeah. Even sometimes we, we're laughing because we're going for the service, uh, for the tea or the toilet, and I'm coming back and starting the car and, oh, hold on, did I apply that? Uh, you see how quick I apply that? I don't even realize that. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it is, it's just quick, isn't it? Yeah, and that's always give you peace of mind, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and the key is really cute. Look, it's got a little bear on it. <laughs> That is cute. Yes. yes. He don't care. We did, but we did <coughs> spoke about losing the key while you're away, so mm -hmm. that that can be a problem because mm -hmm. while you're away and you have one, we will sec we will support you. If you give us a shout, we will come to you and give you what, give you a hand. In Europe? Uh, <laughs> yes, we have the most of the Europe is already covered by yeah. Bellock. They are in most of the countries in Europe, so I'm sure if you give us a shout, we will get someone to help you. That's not a problem, but. What's important is these keys cannot be duplicated in local locksmiths or places like that because A, the technology they use is a CNC cut keys and they are patented. So there is no way to get the duplicates apart from contacting us. And what you need to do, you need to keep this card very safe because this card have 
four sequence of digits and letters and that's your unique ID number for those keys. So if you ever need more spare keys cut, you just send us the numbers and we get them send them we get them to you by post quickly within a, within a few days. That's good, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So do you think they've earned themselves uh, one of your masterful cinnamon buns? Oh, of course. <laughs> Where is it? She's like that. Like like <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I like it. I like this. Oh, I've got to wait for you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we really love about our work. <laughs> After <laughs> finished job, we've got cake. Brilliant. Yeah. We don't do this for money. <laughs> we do this for cakes. Yeah, we work for cakes. Like See you later. Just going to eat the rest of the cakes. I know, what a nice bunch of blokes, though. Oh, honestly, really, really nice. I'm like, I'm like that. Like, really, really nice. <laughs> no, genuinely, they really were, actually. Lovely, lovely blokes. Nice they can come again. As nice as your cakes. Mm, no one's as nice as cakes. <laughs>So you eagle-eyed viewers will have noticed that that was filmed about five or six weeks ago now. In fact, we didn't even have the step welded on, so you were still oh, using your yes. ladder to get in the van. Um, so yeah, we have the reason we've done that is we really wanted to test it and make sure it was all okay for you. So um, the gear change is absolutely fine. In fact, we've had no issues with it whatsoever. It's com exactly the same as what it was before. Yeah, it's been amazing, hasn't it? So it's been really good. It just doesn't do anything. So they didn't mess up my van. Because you drive all the time, right? I do, yeah. All the time. For those of you that are new to the channel, um, you probably don't know, but I do get extreme anxiety, And one, a part of that is because of all our stuff's in here, our belongings, but they're replaceable, right? But the van itself, yes, it's just the van, but we put our heart and soul into building this, didn't we? Yeah. Well, the blood, sweat and tears was epic <laughs> and a few little arguments along the way Definitely. Um, but again it is replaceable even though it's our home it's all of our memories whether mm -hmm. you've got a self-built van or a motorhome they're just they're not a vehicle they are something different aren't they yeah definitely yeah but like i say that is replaceable at a push even though your heart will be a little bit broken and we did nearly lose this van um so we we do have experience of knowing what it's like to fear that you are going to lose something so important to you luckily we didn't it was a different situation but yeah we do understand that but more importantly than all of those things we travel with pets yeah so sometimes um more so that it's summer that's um in the van and stuff and that as well so if they drove off with summer i don't think i could forgive myself oh no because that is she is irreplaceable so we very rarely leave aj for any period of time but we do like if we're going to yeah, a we shop do. or yeah, whatnot yeah um, and the thieves are so quick sometimes but the, the yeah if they drove off with our animals forget the van forget the possessions mm -hmm. forget the money true value forget all of that we'd lose a member of our family wouldn't we and yeah that that's... we just couldn't cope with no another thing we're noticing quite regularly now is on instagram the amount of van theft so mm -hmm. uh, when we built this van that was getting stolen quite a bit, weren't they? Yeah. Then COVID come and it sort of all calmed down. But now that sort of the COVID restrictions are pretty much gone here in the UK, the van thefts are going through the roof, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. And here you in the see U it everywhere. Yeah, all the time. And here in the UK, they're taking the whole van. I assume they're driving them straight out of the country or, or God knows what. But yeah, we we are so glad we've got it done because we got this done just before they started creeping up again. But I feel so much better knowing we've got this in now that I'm seeing all these vans being taken. Yeah, it does give you peace of mind, doesn't it? So, oh, massively so. So we just want to say thank you to the guys at Feth Stop for being so accommodating with all of the filming and all of my like worries that they was going to mess up the van and stuff like that as well. So they were an absolutely cracking few lads and... Lads? Yeah, Men? lads. Men? Lads. That came and, yeah, so thank you guys. It was really appreciated. Even though she did have to bribe them with cakes. Standard, standard. Um, those guys have got a website all about the, the locking system and some other stuff they do as well so obviously I will leave the link in the description and they've also got a YouTube channel um, and there's a few more videos in there that go into a bit more detail with different vans and whatnot so yeah do go and check them out because there's a lot of videos with a lot of information on there and most exciting of all, well maybe not most exciting, but we've also got you a little discount. So if you use the code CAMPERVIBE you can get not one but 10% off. 10% off with the just mention camper vibe when you ring the guys and if you've got any questions um because every like i say every, i think like they said actually in the video every van is slightly different yeah. or very different in some cases so if you've got any questions do give them guys a shout they're really really helpful and when i first met them up in birmingham they answered all of my millions of questions no problem whatsoever so yeah give them a shout either on the website i'm sure there's probably a contact number in there as well 
And that's it, we're done, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah, so we're in quite a remote park up now. For those of you that are following along, we've just finished at the Van Life Eats Festival. We're on another little adventure now, and we will yep. see you guys in the next video. Wherever that is. Bye.